everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here, and welcome to another episode of Out of the Vault. If you need to catch up, please take a look at the playlist provided below. So today we're going to look at a real iconic classic in most Disney fans' eyes. We're going to be taking a look at the 15th Disney animated classic from 1955, which has one of the most iconic, romantic scenes in all of Disney, and probably all of film, with the spaghetti, and that is the story of those lovable two dogs, Lady and the Tramp. I saw Lady and the Tramp when it was re-released in theaters. That was a wonderful thing about being young in the 1980s and 90s, when the Disney company was re-releasing the old Disney classics for younger generations to see on the big screen for the first time and appreciate... I got to see it when I was, I think, maybe about six or seven years old, and I remember absolutely loving it. And so I was really excited to see exactly how I would feel in my early 30s seeing this movie again after a long time. And I did enjoy it. I didn't think that it was fantastic, but I definitely see the appeal for the younger children. The whole concept of talking animals and them just living in the world and just doing whatever Disney magic is supposed to do for all of these characters. But as far as an adult goes, you take a look at this movie and you can see a very interesting take on life, I guess you could say. The whole concept of Lady and the Tramp is dog living in human's world. And it's very interesting because of the fact that in this film, dogs are very much like man from a social standpoint. Lady is a cocker spaniel from a very wealthy family, and the tramp is a dog that obviously has no owner. He's basically living on the wrong side of the tracks and just trying to take every day as it comes and just live life. And that's a lot of human beings. There are some privileged, and then there are some that are not so privileged. And the problem is the stereotypes, when the two sides look at one another, they really can't see past that. And it's all about really letting all of those things about a human being go and just taking a look at the good person, or in this case, the good dog. Because while the tramp may not be the most privileged of characters, he has a good heart, and he truly does care for Lady. Even though they called him a play boy and they called him a scoundrel, but he really believed that when he found the right, in this case, dog, when he found Lady, he realized that this was the one, because while she was young and naive, he saw that she really was kind and considerate and would really sacrifice herself for him if the worst scenario ever took place. Of course, everybody also loves the romantic scene with the spaghetti. That's just a legendary scene, and it really is cute. Cheesy at points and times, but really cute just to see that it takes a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs for these two different characters from different backgrounds to really appreciate one another. And it was really, all in all, a very cute movie. Not great, but very, very cute. What I also appreciate is the fact that you also saw a great take on America as it takes place in the early 1900s, and you saw a lot of stereotypes in human and in animal form, like the Siamese cats and the Irish police officer, and of course, Tony and Joe, because this was also a point in time when America was really coming together as a melting pot, and all of these cultures were coming together to live in this land of opportunity. So, from a historic standpoint, to a slight degree, it was really cool to see. Lady and the Tramp, especially if you got young kids, they will love this movie because of the dogs. It's just so cute. Great characters, great scenes, and of course, you also have some not so great songs, but definitely songs that the kids will like because they're simple and they'll definitely smile. I will give Lady and the Tramp two and a half out of four. A lower rating just because of the fact that when you compare it to movies like The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and Tangled and Frozen, you just don't have that kind of Disney caliber. But still a magical Disney movie nonetheless. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next month with another episode of Out of the Vault. Really looking forward to it as always. And... Take care. Actions speak louder than words.